Getting good. Down to the finals. The two players left. Joey Gray, young gun from Oklahoma City versus Sparky Farrell, now residing in South Carolina, I believe. This is going to be a great match. It's a, it's a true double elimination. And uh, they've already flipped. Sparky Farrell has won the flip and will be breaking first here. And we are at White Diamond Billiards in Lafayette, Louisiana. And uh, joining me in the booth right now is uh, the owner of White Diamond Billiards, Chris Miller. Chris, how are we doing today? Doing good, doing good. Doing good. Well, have we wore you out just yet? Say again? Have we wore you out yet? Oh, it's getting there, but we're going to make it. I can't believe you can still talk after that oh, auction. Oh, we're going to get it. I appreciate everybody watching online. Thank you all for watching. And if uh, you ever get a chance, come on out here. And I tell you what, if you're passing through uh, anywhere near Lafayette, I mean, I, I even know guys that will come 200 miles out of their way for one of them ribeyes. Oh, there you go. Man, that ribeye is delicious. I thought about driving over here from Waco a couple times for one. Yeah. Man, it's really good. The ribeye steak, seasoned to perfection, tender, with a baked potato and a salad for $12. How do you make any money? What, oh, do you own, what, do you own uh, some cattle or something? Oh, no, no cows. We just try to uh, give everybody a fair deal. Well, that's certainly that. Thank you for uh, telling me a great job with the cow cutter, Copat. Thank you about that. Curve 007. Oh, I appreciate y'all coming to the next tournament. Man, I tell you what, be sure and get your entry in early because this thing fills up every time. 128 players had like 20 something on the waiting list, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. About uh, it got up to 20. Having to pay off a little little boo boo right here, but we're gonna get it paid off and go ahead about our business. <laughs> uh, oh, damn. A, extra merit from the chat room there, Chris is uh, saying uh, says hi and he and they want their scuffer. <laughs> hi and they want their scuffer. I know who that guy is. <laughs> Tell him he can't have it. Can't have the scuffer. Home of Troy joining us in the chat room there. This is going to be a great match right here. Sparky Farrell's been playing an unbelievable pool all weekend. You're right about that. And uh, so is Joey Gray. And this is going to be awesome. Joey Gray has to double dip Sparky Farrell. True double elimination. You're right. This will be an uh, exciting match. I uh, appreciate everyone watching it. Uh, from the chat room, Iron Man 3844 is wondering who the winners were. On the, uh, the numbers were number 266. And number 780, and uh, those were uh, those numbers were attached to Brian Richard and Don's Moses. Don's Moses. We really appreciate everyone's support of the big truck show there, and it's awesome uh, that uh, we can work together with the venues that we go to, like uh, Chris Miller here, and putting those. Uh, raffles together to raise funds for both the uh, added money here at the tournament and the, the online streaming. It's an awesome deal. We appreciate everybody's support. Spark can barely make this one ball. Looks like it might sneak past the three. And it's a good thing I wasn't shooting near or snuck right into the three. <laughs> Sound like we play alike. Uh... What do you think here, Chris? Two nine? Oh, for sure. Because it uh, doesn't look like that two is going in by itself. Oh, no. He's eyeing this up. It's going to be cheese time. Oh, that Ricky P played good. I don't know if I can beat old Ricky. Ricky's tough. Ricky's a little better than old Chris. 
I admit it. In front of the viewers. <laughs> Chris, you got any action lined up for your tournament here? Oh, no. I got that bed lined up. Hey, I'm glad you came to the tournament. Pocket. Who was that that was feeling bad? Uh, Ralph from Beaumont usually comes, but I said they, they, he was feeling a little rough. So hopefully he's getting better and uh, wish him to get well. He's been coming the last couple ones. Uh, maybe about four months we're going to have the next one, four to five months. Last year it was in August, and uh, I don't know if that, that's going to work out or not. It might be a little earlier this, this year. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we have to just check. Yeah, it'll probably be older, earlier this time. We want to get it before it gets too hot. Yeah, Jay, JJ is still playing, Gary, but Jay, uh, Jeremy Jones is running out real good right now. He ain't missing no balls, none. No, exactly. He's up 15-2 to two right now in that match with Gary Boone back there. Yeah, I knew it was uh, vicious. What were they racing to? Did you know? Uh, one At first it was going to be 21, and I heard 17, so I think it's fixing to be all over with. Uh, we ain't going to talk about that one on Copath. We're going to leave that one be. Well, again, they're using all the balls here in the money ball on this rack. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the... My eyes going bad. Twelve ball. Uh, psychopath there from the chat room is asking if uh, if uh, Hillbilly plays nice, nice enough. Is he ever going to get to come back, or is that a done deal forever? Uh, we're going we're gonna to leave it as a uh, done deal. I don't have nothing against the guy, but uh, we're going to leave that done. All right, that answers that question. Uh, Sandman was asking uh, why he was banned. If you want to address that, fine. If not, that's fine, too. Puma <laughs> Troy. Uh, little buddy Jason L. Still get the seven, he's asking there in the chat room. He just caused Chris a lot of problems at one time, but uh, we got it all straight now. I figured out how to fix it. This tournament was a great tournament. I had literally no arguments at this tournament. Ran real smooth. Nobody yeah. cried about nothing. I mean, it was surprising. 128 right. players, I, I really didn't have to make a hard decision. Yeah, I got to say, both the ones I've been to, that's exactly how it's been. Not a single argument that I can think of. In fact, the loudest thing in the room was uh, Gary Abood and uh, Good Time Charlie having oh, fun yeah. over there. They had a good time, <laughs> so we, you know, got to gotta listen to it. Oh, your little buddy can't get the seven. I just had to give you that try that time because you was acting like you had a lot of gamble, but you had to wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I just woke him up a little bit. I'm gonna be hearing it now. Joey Green, one, one, one. Ties it up. No, no drill, Sergeant. Just a dummy. That's all it takes to do a cow cutter. Just gotta be a dummy. <laughs> Don't have to be a drill, Sergeant. did pretty good. He was on the winner's side earlier and then he got knocked out. But uh, oh, yeah. he, he was doing good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rack number three. Yep, this is the finals. If you're just tuning in, this is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck, from the Internet Pool Forums. And I'm joined in the booth here by Chris Miller, owner of White Diamond. And we had us a great tournament here this weekend. This was a lot of fun, more fun than ought to be allowed, really. And we was up here till about 5.30 this morning. Yeah, by the time we got out of here, a few of the other players, a lot of the other players got to leave earlier, but a few of us had to stay late and rough it out. About six or eight of us, actually. There maybe maybe a few less, but... Uh, 
Uh, I was certainly here right to the last ball and dropped. Thank you, guys. Well, Joey Gray has got uh, hidden behind the four ball on the one here, and it looks like he's going to be rolling out. Well, it's gonna be, I'm anxious to see where he rolls out to. We'll see what he does. Because it looks like the one four is on, so how do you roll out anywhere on this? Yeah, you got to be a little careful not to make a, have a slip season. Maybe put it over by the five there somewhere, possibly. Mm -hmm. If I knew that answer, uh, uh, big truck, I'd still be deterred. I have to watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Me too. Don't worry. You know what's funny? I, I, uh, look, look, he'll look, I mean, look, big truck, you already, well, he did not quite what you said. <laughs> not quite. I don't think he likes it either. Man, was that a rollout? Yeah. Was, I think it was a bad. Rolling out for a jump? That's a jump combo here coming up. Hmm. Sparky might give this back unless he. I don't see him going after his jump cue. Kind of a little confused. I'd be jump combo in this in a heartbeat as well. Hmm. He's a little I'd close get to all that. Get though. out my hand shoe jumper, be right over the top of that. Oh, yeah. That's a good jumper. And I'd get shape on the two also. Good. Uh, man, I need you. Hey. Automatic jumper's good at it, baby. I love a good jumper. Yeah, that hand shoe jumper. You can put uh, top, bottom, draw. What about middle? You might even be able to put a little middle on it. Well, we love middle. Middle is good. <laughs> Everybody listening out there needs to get them one of them jump cues. That'd be a nice, nice thing to have. Man, they're getting hard to get. Those hand shoe jumpers are uh, he's, uh, getting really popular on those. Shane Van Moning got one. Silver Ochoa. Oh, Big hey. truck's got one. Oh, hey. Shit, that's great. We're shipping them all over the world now. Sure. Once you get your hands on one, you find out what it's all about. <coughs> Here he goes, jump combo. Oh, we have to get him a hand shoe jumper. He yeah, I'd have passed that one too, don't worry. I, I knew I'd have been, I don't know, he might have made it. Hey, thank you for coming in about the tournament. Appreciate that. Yeah, that uh, jump cue of uh, Robin Dawson's jumps really good too. That jump frog, leap frog, I think they call it. Jumped with one, I got to play with one of those out in Vegas uh, a few never, years back. Never used one of them. Tadpole, there we go. Well, this rack's on open, wide open for Sparky. Robin Dotson joining us in the chat room there. Uh, now that, I'll tell you what, just talking about that ribeye makes me hungry right now, too. I could go for a ribeye about right now. I, the big truck was a little slow tonight with the kitchen clothes up on it. Yeah, <laughs> made last call. He was, had the, had the mic on, come here. <laughs> what, time, what time y'all open tomorrow? I might stick around for a ribeye. <laughs> uh, the kitchen opens at 5 tomorrow. 5 uh, yeah. a.m.? Oh, man, I can't stick around that No, long. I know you can't be here that long. I'll be on my way to Nashville by that time. So Robin Dotson had a type in. Uh, Robin Dotson's on the chat room right now. Chris Miller in the booth with me. This is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck. Uh, Rob, Rob Roy, too, there. That's Robin Dotson. And, uh, Need her invite her on down here to crack this tournament off. Tell her to come beat all these guys. I'll tell you what, she could do it. Uh, Curly Q leaving us in the chat room there. Good night, Curly. Uh, James Barnett, uh, Iron Man leaving us. James, uh, appreciate you joining us. Y'all will be able to watch the finals tomorrow. So this will be recorded. Uh, 
carry nine balls, wondering when you're going to have a, a women's event down here, Chris Miller. Oh, I don't know. I never uh, never really thought about that. I didn't know how many women I could really get. I'd like to have one if we could think we could ever get a lot of women down here. I'll make them famous. I'll sell them in that cow cutter. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. Tell you what, Sparky Farrell is in rare form. I don't know how long it's been since Sparky snapped off a major, but it looks like he can do it this time. He might be on his way, huh? Can we call this a major? Well, I mean. There's some major players here. For yeah, you're, you're right about that. Johnson and Chatter says that uh, Say again. WPBA would allow them to play no problem. see the one, but I, he might be able to play a billiard on the seven ball here if he desires to. Or he might just tuck it behind the eight there and come out safe on this. Chris Miller had to step away from the mic for just a second there, take care of a little pool hall business, and he is back with us right now. Y'all y'all probably beat me out of a ton of money. I don't remember what we did. Tell me what we did. Uh, T.J. Ortiz there uh, is uh, relating a story in the uh, private chat there about uh, hooking uh, Claude up at him last time they were down here in Lafayette, and they said they played Gary for about 20 hours. Go ahead. Remember that one, Chris? I guess they're talking about that Gary. Uh, I'm not sure for sure which Gary, but because uh, I don't know that JT Ortez, I can't remember him. But if it's if it's the ones I'm thinking of, I might uh, can have a flashback. <laughs> hey, Chris Miller in action so much, he don't even remember who he played. This I guy plays so many people. Let me explain one thing, Big Truck. I try to forget because there's a lot of bad memories in there. <laughs> I try to get forget them three thousand. Them little three day, three uh, something losses. Well, speaking of bad memories, there, Joey just uh, scratched on that well, kick that, there. That is real rough. That's going to be a little tough. That Sparky Farrell ball in hand with five balls wide open on the table. Looks like it's going to be three one match. Yep, you right about that. There's usually 23 tables in the room, but we move them around for this event. So there's about 16 set up. Yeah. We try to make room for uh, sitting. Yeah, awesome, awesome tournament. If you haven't been down here to White Diamond, you need to get down here and uh, and check this tournament out. Or if you're just passing through, stop in, have you a steak, and, and uh, 
Hey, they might even end up matching up with Chris Miller over here. Sparky Farrell uh, advancing his lead 3-1 to one over Joey Gray. Four racks away from this thing being over, Chris. Yeah, he looks dead serious. He looks like he uh, got a mission in mind. I believe I know what the mission is. How you doing, uh, Vegas Dragon. Hey, man, this is Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. Look, that's Dwayne, Ashley from... Go ahead, Dwayne. You were supposed to come over here and win this easy money instead of all that work. You should have come. I think you'd have been shoe in to win this, Dwayne. That's one of my buddies from uh, Las Vegas, Dwayne. Me and him used to go play around a lot together. Joining us in the chat room there. chat room there is wondering what what they can get from Chris. <laughs> uh, I don't even uh, Chris, you know who uh, somebody named Extra Marat? Ex, ex, I, I don't know ex, who that ex, is, but ex, ex, if he's asking me for more, he's probably just trying to steal big truck. That's all I want to say. <laughs> he just try to get me. You know how they try to get old Chris. Yeah, that's probably a champion there, Extreme Rat. That's a champion. Let's see. Uh, Clint Freeman wants to know if he, if he gets the seven, Chris. Oh, see, that's one of them guys that just try to scuff old Chris. I mean, they got to take it easy on old Chris. Listen up, y'all out there. Listen up, viewers. Page 47 in the White Diamond Manual says, take it easy on old Chris. That's what y'all need to know. Hold on one second. I got to work for a living. All right, Chris. Chris Miller, folks. Uh, a lot of fun to be around this guy. Never a dull moment around Chris Miller, and you definitely will get some action. Uh, Robin Dodson from the chat there is asking what uh, Sparky Farrell went for in the players' auction, and uh, pulling that up right now as we speak here. Oh, hell, he's not even in the tournament. Here, here he is. Sparky Farrell got himself, uh, uh, no, he bought, uh, he went for 700 in the first auction, and he went for 300 in the second auction there. Uh, Dwayne, uh, on the chat room, Chris, is wanting to know, um, that, oh, he's saying next time he'll snap it off. Yeah, there. he's going to come on fly on in from Vegas. I'm going to make him go for about 2000 in the cow gutter. to see what he <laughs> thinks about that. Oh, yeah, well, I definitely want to be here with that one. Well, in the meantime, Sparky Farrell is running out here again. I'll tell you what, uh, Sparky played awesome pool. The last time I saw him shoot was over at the uh, Houston Open over there. He played really well that time, and uh, in fact, he, he, he was determined to snap that tournament off. Uh, he finished high, and I can't remember where he finished, but he finished like fourth place, the fifth, sixth, and wait, you know, I know I don't, 128 players. He looks like he's determined here, too. Field dog in the chat room, Chris, is asking if you could expand the field if you had to. No, no, not possible. We, we barely can finish it in two days with 128. We maxed out. The only thing I can say is if you want to play, sign up early. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Extreme Rat was wondering if you used to be in Lake Charles. That's me. That's where I was from. No Lake kidding. Charles. Oh, yeah. I'll be damn. That's me. Sparky Farrell going ahead over to one over he's, Joey Gray. He's playing lights out right now. He ain't doing no missing, giving up no air. 
how many players showed. We had 128 full field for the last three turns, and I appreciate everyone coming out to the turns and supporting it, and everybody online watching it. Someone was telling me we had over a thousand viewers on at one time, you know, Chris, at, there at one point. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, that was uh, that's pretty high for on here. A thousand viewers at one time, pretty good, big truck. A lot of interest in this event. So, uh, uh, talked about it everywhere in the pool world. So you made yourself famous over here. You're on the map. Oh, uh, that's good. How about that? A little nine on the break will help uh, things along for uh, Joey to catch up. 4-2. Hold on one second. got to work for it. All right, Chris. See uh -huh. you when you get back. Chris Miller's busy man. Busy man. He'll be back in just a few minutes. Just to the men, this is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck. And uh, we're watching the finals of the White Diamond Nine Ball Tournament here in Louisiana. It's the Louisiana Open. And this is the Sparky Farrell is uh, leading Joey Gray, four to two. They're alternating breaks. Race of seven on both sides, so this will be a true double elimination. Sparky Farrell won the hot seat. Joey Gray has to beat him twice. It's a race to seven. Sparky's leading 4-2. Rack number seven. Sparky breaking. All right, uh, Chris Miller back in the booth now. Boy, it's tough to be a commentator with Big Truck. Boy, it's rough. you gotta, you got to deal with all kinds of questions. Oh, man, constantly. Non-stop. I'll tell you what, I was sleeping until about 5 o'clock tomorrow. Catching up for the weekend. TJ uh, Ortiz there just wanted to say thanks uh, for uh, hooking him up there on that Abood match there and uh, said you and Ashley was sleeping on the table when they did that match. Oh, okay. Well, that'll work, man. I remember that. That was no problem. We try to accommodate, try to make it sure everybody comes and has a good time. Asking about some story. Did I miss something here? Oh, yeah. Huma Troy. Huma Troy in the chat room. Wanted to know the. Uh, uh, wanted if you tell the story about the time uh, he tried to sneak Keith McCready in on him. Uh, they just tried to sneak him in like he was a nobody, but I knew who he was. They ended up beating me a few weeks later anyway. They got the money, but it was all good. I had to go back to New Orleans, and I got it back from one of the, the one of the other guys. But it was all a good. It was a fun three weeks. They got me, then I got another guy. So it was it was just good action. Once again, uh, viewers that are uh, playing with all the balls here on the rack here. So on this rack here, the money ball will be the 14, and uh, on the stripes here, you've got the 10. Is that the 12? Chris, 10, 12, and 14 out there. That's it. So um, you can figure it from there. Sparky rolled out, and Joey gave it back to him. Yeah, this is a tough one right here. They can just nick the edge of the one, it looks like. Well, let's see if we can learn to something, big truck. We haven't got an update on the uh, Jeremy Jones and Gary Abood match back there or not. Uh, maybe we can uh, find out what's going on back there. Yeah. Uh, and it has got to be over. Now I see Jeremy Jones through the crowd here. I can see just a peak of him there. And he is uh, walking around the table right now on a rack. Boy, Sparky almost made a hell of a shot. Boy, he, he really come close to making that. That would have been a real sweep right there. Unfortunately, this ain't horseshoes. And here comes Joey Gray yep. on the table with a wide open table and a shot at the one. You're exactly right about that. There yeah. was just no good safe from the play, so. Yeah. Yeah, I looked away for a minute. I didn't see what he did. Joey may 
hooked himself on the, a six ball here, Chris. Oh, he got around pretty good. A little nice there, shot. He's not done yet. He's going to have to do a billiard here. Probably going to play that eight in the corner. He might even make the three at the same time on the other corner. Oh. Thing on this shot, you better make sure you make one or the other. Well, I agree with you there. No, he didn't oh make my it. god, oh, how did he come with that shot, boy? Yeah, or he could just do that. You know, you and Dad punch him, you can pull them shots off like that. And I'll tell you what, the other night when uh, uh, young gun Joey Gray here beat Hennessy over there on, on table number 12, man, that was a good match. Yeah, huh? you're right, you're right. Drag looks to be over. It'll be four or three if Joey finishes off these two balls. I ain't gonna say nothing. That that pocket, that ball jumped out of the pocket a little while ago on Joey, but uh, he's got this one. to your front door. Subscribe to Inside Pool for the annual price of $19.99. Each issue is action-packed with high-impact photos, tournament coverage, in-depth player profiles, and much, much more. Call 888-428-7665. That's 888-428-POOL. Pool Magazine can now bring the world's greatest players right to your front door. Subscribe to Inside Pool for the annual price of $19.99. Each issue. All right, it uh, looks like Sparky Farrell is now leading by only one rack. Now, this game is getting good here. You run about that. It's getting them tightened up. Don't worry. One of these sets is never over until it's over. Somebody always can come back. I don't really care what the score is. Break them bad a few times, and the other guy breaks them good. Next thing you know, quite a few matches went like that. A lot of hill-hill matches this weekend, I'm telling you. I can't believe, you know, in close matches, too, a lot of 7-5s, seven 7-6. Seven, seven, You're right. Carrie Nineball there, uh, she was, I believe, uh, she's related in some way to that Shane Morrow uh, that played here in the tournament from Pennsylvania. Oh, damn. I, and, know, uh, I was wondering. I didn't know who, who that was. She says she's moving back just so she can go to White Diamond. Oh, oh my goodness. We welcome you for sure. Yeah, I've got a lot of leaks. Like, ooh. I'm talking out of turn, like, and look, it sounds like I'm talking to myself. I'm messing this up. Big Chuck corrected me a while ago, but I screwed this up. I just read it and answer, but y'all don't know how well I did Well, we're recording the match, so um, it's a, a, when you're, we're answering the chat, the chat's not on the recording, so it's important we uh, the recording, though. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, what, oh, yeah, I was messing up, but yeah, uh, we're going to. Well, we're answering there. Robin Dotson is asking if you have a lot of league players throughout the week, Chris. Oh, yeah. I've got them here Monday through Friday. <coughs> got league. Got Friday night, nine ball, uh, eight ball league. It's real good in house. That helps a lot. Is that a money league? Yeah. It's a, it's a, no, that, that's just APA league. We got okay. a Thursday night money league. It works out good. All Pennsylvania. Look at this. Uh, Joey Gray, he's got a five ball here. That's going to be the key shot. Doesn't look like it passes a six. Oh, it goes. It, it goes. It does it go? Oh, yeah. I can't tell from where I'm sitting. I'm pretty sure from over here. I think, he has, I think he's out. Oh, well, it definitely goes this way. Well, he didn't get what he wanted. He got a little, little funny. Yeah, he did, but when, when you're young like Joey Gray, you just shoot the eyes off them balls right across the side pocket there. You're right about that. Uh, Pout, is it P. Outcast from the Internet uh, chat room there, Chris, is asking if you ever played at Q-Sticks in Beaumont. Oh, yeah, I used to go over there all the time uh, on the weekends. Look at that, Joe. Look at that, Chris. He, Joey cut it right right over there to the Razor side. Razor blade, baby, razor blade. <laughs> Like no problem. Clark concedes the rack as he um, ties it up. Four apiece. 
and says you sound like an old time pool player <laughs> more like just old Chris played a few games in his time just never none of them good enough never none of them good enough here we go rack number nine the Sparky pockets the one ball on the break and he's got a clear view of the two ball uh-huh. Kick, kicker here is going to be getting back on the, on the three ball down the other end there you run them on that. I think you're a little tough. Uh, extreme Rat on the uh, chat room. Chris, wonder if you ever matched up with Derek Fontenot. Well, we never played. Uh, I think that would be real tough. Uh, he's playing as good as me or better nowadays. He's he's real hot. Whenever he gets in punch, he'll make you wonder what's happening. He kind of, he's a young gun himself, too. He couldn't be more than, what, 25, 6? Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere in that area. Bet's 25 from the chat room is wondering how the lighting will be next week for Music City Open. It'll be awesome because uh, it'll be just like it is here today. One of the other guys was asking Big Truck if uh, if uh, there was ever going to be a three-day event. I'm never going to go to a three-day event. I remember one time in New Orleans they had a big tournament rolling real good. They moved it to three days, killed it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's real tough on everybody to finish it in two, but if I would move it to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, probably would kill the whole thing. I witnessed it one time in New Orleans, and I promised myself. Never I, do it. Yeah, I remember that. If something's not broke, don't fix it. It's hard on the players, but yeah. I mean, we out here to play pool and stay up all night, and let's get it on. Exactly. I like your style, Chris. Uh, I hadn't said that already. <laughs> we got to get it. Uh, Carrie Nineball. Carrie Nineball must not be a pool player. She on the chat room. She's suggesting to start at 8 a.m. Oh, the, well, today we did start at 8 a.m. Yeah, didn't we? we didn't have no choice. We didn't have no choice today. Could start at 8 a.m. the first day, too. But look, we're still here until 12 30. Mm-hmm. This was 32. We were here a little, we were here to what, uh, about four this morning before we finished the last match. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, Vegas Dragon there on the chat room is wondering when you coming to Vegas, Chris? Whenever I can run out with ball in hand with four balls, then I'm going to go to Vegas. Until I can do that big truck, I'm going to stay right here in my head. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, Q Kid for Life there is wondering if I'm ready for the T-Town Classic. You betcha. I can't wait to get up there. Uh, Gabe Owens uh, Productions putting on that $12,000 added one-pocket tournament up there. Oh, that's great. $200 entry sponsored by Magoo's and Mueller Products and, uh, and a few others. That's going to be a great event. Uh, race to four on both sides, one-pocket. That, right. yeah. that should be great to sweat. Uh, absolutely. Race to five on the uh, on the finals. And I'll be up there streaming that, too. You can watch it live right here on the Big Truck Show. Yeah, Extreme Rat uh, from the chat room there <laughs> saying that that three-day event would be tough on a poor old Ashley. Oh, yeah, old Ashley, I might, boy, it would be rough on her. She, she done stayed up for two days on this when I told her she needed to get some sleep, but she's a trooper. She's a soldier. She did a real good job running the tournament. I'd like everyone to know that. She, uh, she... Don't get much sleep on this two-day event, but uh, don't worry. We're going to get some sleep later tonight after all this is over with. Joey Gray concedes that right, and Sparky Farrell once again takes the lead 5-4. to four. Let's fix him a bit in sight now. Well, it's been a long day, and I'll tell you what, big truck. Make sure they pick up all trash. I mean, <laughs> all, all. <laughs> Little little tournament business, little pool hall business there by uh, Chris Miller. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, um, at this point here in the tournament, Chris, I got to tell you, I'm pulling for Sparky because I'm tired. I know what you mean. 
But uh, it would be cool for Joey to win this. But Sparky, uh, he deserves it. He played real hard, but both guys deserve it. Joey done come and gotten the money before. They, Joey, Gray, Chip Compton, they didn't, they've been supporting the tournament they, since they heard about it. They done come to, I think this is their third one. Last time they signed up before they even left. No kidding. Give me paid up their entry fee before they even cool. left. They said, we coming. That's Don't the, matter when it is, we coming. That's the way to do it. I, I do that a lot of times with my hotel rooms. If I think I might be in somewhere, I'll just go ahead and book me a room. And uh, and then if, uh, if I don't make it, I just cancel it. Yeah, they, they, they paid it up right out of the uh, last time. And they've been in the money about every time, too, haven't they? Yeah. One or the other. Yeah, the they, they've, been, they've been making some money out here. There ain't no doubt about that. I'll tell you what, even if you're not a tournament player, and um, you come on down here during the tournament, you can get all kind of action. You can get anything you want. Nine-foot nine tables over here going nonstop. Eight-foot tables going nonstop. Uh, they got uh, two nine-foots in the house. One's got pockets about that big, and I'm holding my fingers really close together. There you go. <laughs> they was asking if we have any events. We don't really have no nine events. I only have two nine-foot, so we can't really do no events on that. don't have a lot of nine-foot players down here, you know. We try to make them get on that bar table, even up the odds a little bit, and let's see who wants to play for it. Well, Sparky's at the table here, and everything is, uh, I mean, it's wide open. Nothing's closer than a foot to another ball, but it's kind of a tricky little rack. Yeah, I don't know about that. Bets25 is asking if there's a list of uh, players yet for the Teton Classic. Uh, I have not received anything, but I did confirm just at this tournament, Jeremy Jones is definitely going to be there. Gabe Owen, Scott Frost. You know, it's going to be an awesome tournament. Hell yeah, that, you get started getting them players over there. You'll make it sweet. I wish Jeremy Jones all the luck. He come down here twice, won the last one over here. I hope he goes over there and cracks them on off. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'll tell you what, Gabe Owen playing some good one pocket too. Yeah, yeah. And Scott Frost. Yeah, you're right about that. Any one of them guys could snap that off. It's funny Scott didn't come down here and try to win this tournament yet, but he had been down here before, but never for the tournaments. But uh, that's kind of surprising he didn't sneak in yet. It wouldn't be much of a sneak, but it's funny he didn't come down here. Yeah, I'd, I'd almost pay pay to get him down here just to hear you bid him up in the auction. Oh, uh, <laughs> we'll try to get him. Sparky just hit that ball real good. That's all I can say about that. Yeah, he's uh, he's getting through this rack. It, it was kind of a tricky little rack, but uh, it's, it's unfolded pretty nicely here now. He can play it all from the center of the table here just about. Or he could just go for the 6-9 right here if he, if he desired to. Mm. Looks like he's going to go ahead and try to get out. I it's too easy. Too easy to go for the combo. I think he got a little angle, but I think he'll deal with it. Uh, Jim Balls in the chat room was asking if uh, Little John was here this time. And, you know, that was funny because last time uh, that I was here, he wasn't in the tournament, but he was here for action. There was some uh, uh, some good woofing going on between him and Scooter yeah. and, and this little Scooter crew. And uh, well, I think Little John ended up uh, losing to the Scooter crew on that deal yeah, to uh, Shane Winters over here. He ended up a little short, but I tell you what, it was firing off. Boy, they, they had it going on. It was a great, uh, they had that action on that nine-foot triple shim. It was, it was good. And uh, I was kind of surprised he didn't show up at this one. Yeah, I thought he might come, but uh don't know what he's up to. Farrell on the hill, 6-4 over the young gun, Joey Gray. Yeah, he is, it's, he's on the hill. He's going to see what happens there. You're just tuning in, this is Ray Hansen, also doing his big truck from the uh, Internet Pool Forums. And uh, we're here at Park Diamond Billiards in Lafayette, Louisiana. 
Joining me in the booth is Chris Miller, uh, owner of White Diamonds here. Home with Charles Wolfing at me a little bit. I'm going to have to, he said he'd like to be down here so we can, uh, so I wouldn't ignore him online. He, I could uh, maybe do a little gambling with him with Troy. If I bet more than $10, that's all you want to bet, Troy. I mean, come on now, baby. Don't, don't wolf like that. If I bet more than 10 I'll make you shit. I can't say that on my Now I done got in trouble. I'm thinking I'm oh, going to get kicked yeah, out of There goes line. the family show status. Yeah, that was a, that was a slip. You can penalize me. Well, we'll let you get away with it, Chris. All right. Well, I ain't going to say that. We done heard your Calcutta, so we, yeah. we, can, we can live through the rest yeah. of it. We, you would have to take that off the mic if I couldn't say that. We, we was getting it. I'm going to have to get me some new software that has that little beep in it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Well, here we go, folks. Sparky Farrell on the hill and breaking. Let's see what happens. Let's sweat it, baby. Sweat it. Shot on the one and he got it. This might be a. Uh, I don't know. Hold on, Chris. A three yeah. ball. Look at the three ball. You're exactly right. Exactly right. I think he's just excited as all hell that he got to see a shot on that one. He might deal with this. Well, I'll tell you what. It is tough. Uh, we got some action report just came in from Nolan's Glen there, and we got Shane Walter from Corpus Christi that snapped off the mini tournament Friday night. He's in a match right now with Little D. McKinney. They're playing race to 13 for $400, and Shane Walter is up 10-6. We allow that at White Diamond. We like a little action. We, we appreciate everyone coming down here and do a little game, a little action. Yeah. Tell you what, Shane's a good player, too. Yeah, the corpus. Snapped, he snapped off that many times. Solid. No fear, man. He just shoots at it and fires at it. Uh, Dank players from the uh, chat room there is asking for the payouts. Let's we'll see if I can get get some payout updates here. I'll be right back. Jim Jim Ball says I need to expand the Lake Charles. I need to sell the one I got. This is work, baby. There's a lot of work on this status here, right here. This is working old Chris to death. I ain't slept in two days. Well, we're getting close to that three ball. I don't know what he can do with that three ball. I think Big Truck, I'm, I'm looking in his eyes, and I think he's saying I'm going to do whatever Big Truck would do. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm telling you, I think I've just seen it in his eyes. I just break it down and go home. <laughs> uh, he might have a he might have a shot at this three between the five and nine. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, I think oh. he, I think Did he, he get there? No. Yeah, but he missed the two. Oh, I think he got there on, on oh, the three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He got there but oh. Wow. That was a great shot except for the two missing part. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. We got the, uh, the payouts coming out here, and I'm run down uh, just. I'll just run down the top two spots here. That'll be uh, yeah, nice that'll and quick here for what these two guys are actually playing for. First place in the tournament, two thousand one hundred and forty-two dollars. Second place, I can't read that. Actually, right? One thousand six hundred forty-six. It looks like from here. Those are those those sixes are used. Right? We don't say the <laughs> zeros right now. One, okay, 1,646 for second place. First Calcutta paid 8,139 for first and 3,953 for second. Second to Calcutta, one uh, first place was 3,979 and second place. I gotta get out the booth, I gotta do my job. Chris, go watch that shot. Second place in the second Calcutta was uh, 2,116. All right, we're going to get Chris Miller out here to watch the shot here on this one. Here we go, Joey Gray is right up on top with three ball. Chris, we're all right. I thought we'd have to 
All right, uh, Sparky Farrell called off the police on that shot, and uh, looks like uh, Joey is looking at the cheese on this. He's going to jack up on a three and try to make the cheese. Chance to make it. That's he, what I, there, up. I know, and there he went. I like his odds of making that. Well, I went and looked at it. It looked like it was uh, wanting to go. I mean, don't worry. He hit it perfect. That's how good he hit that ball. Six five, Sparky Farrell on the hill. And as uh, Nolens Glenn said earlier, they both need one. Sparky Farrell needs one game, and Joey Gray needs every one. Ah. That's a good way of looking at that. <laughs> You're just tuning in. This is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck from the Internet Pool Forums, and I'm joined in the booth right now by the owner of White Diamond Billiards, Chris <laughs> Miller, and we're here watching the finals of the uh, Louisiana Open. This is a biannual event, about two a year, right, Chris? Uh, we try to, uh, if we can fit them in there, we'll go three, but three at the most, usually. Awesome tournament, 128-man bracket, everyone I've been to, and there was about 15 to 25 on the on the waiting list each time. Definitely one you one you want to make. And uh, payouts of this tournament uh, here actually exceeded the last one by, what, about $800, wasn't it? Yeah, about six to eight. They said it exceeded it. Uh, it's not the biggest one. The biggest one we ever had was 43350 total money. But this one, uh, this one's, uh, I'm well happy with this one being right after Christmas and everything. And I had a few guys that are my real good Calcutta buyers. They they just couldn't make it. And, but I hope everything's going good for them. And uh, I appreciate all the new guys, and I appreciate all the old guys coming in from the Calcutta. I can't do it by myself. The main thing that I need, that's going to hurt. And look at this. Oh, yeah. Makes three balls on the break and the cue ball. Wide open table. Sparky on the hill. Not good. Not good. Sparky likes it. He snapped his fingers whenever he's in there. Which he I jumped. Don't blame him. I ain't seen him move that fast. I don't, I don't think ever. He jumped out of that chair like lightning. You're right. He, he just better take his time right here. I wouldn't be in that big a hurry. Just take his time and get out. All right? He ain't on the clock. Casey Fatzer from the uh, chat room, Chris, is asking how many tables you got here in the place, and uh, and there's a room in between them. Or are they all stuffed in here together? Uh, they, well, they, they're a little ways apart, but it's not like uh, some rooms where you got them 10 feet apart. Uh, everybody knows you go to a pool room, sometimes you'd be a little crowded. Whenever I get 128 players, I'm not going to lie to nobody, I'm crowded. But uh, we got to make do. That's the best we can do with the situation we got. Uh, don't worry. If you ask Sparky what he thinks about the place after he runs these two balls, he'll love it. I mean, uh, yeah, you come exactly. down here and win the money. It's crowded whenever you get 128, but everybody everybody works with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, and the uh, table count, we got there's uh, 23 tables in the place here. Was it 11 bar boxes? Uh, 10, 10 bar tables, uh, two 9 foot, and the rest 8 foot. And then we'll move about six of them against the walls and rearrange. This tournament is over, and I wish uh, everyone uh, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Chris. Uh, awesome tournament, as usual. And I'd like to thank everybody out on the Internet there for joining us. I'd like to thank uh, OBQs, Delta Racks, Cue It Up, Q Clips, and uh, BilliardBush.com. And Inside Pool Magazine, White Diamond Billiards, and James Hanshu of Hanshu Custom Cues. It's been an awesome uh, weekend, everyone. Uh, tune in uh, on Thursday, maybe Wednesday even. We'll be doing some testing up from the Music City Open over at J.O.B. Billiards. It's going to be an awesome event. Look forward to seeing everyone out over there. Have a nice evening. Everybody stay safe.